Alright, I will go a bit of play blow around the rap. I cannot talk anymore apparently. I had a little warm up phase where I was kind of trying to beatbox to my new microphone because it is awesome. It feels awesome. It feels way more responsive and way more, I don't know, way more live than my other microphone did or other microphones did. So, anyways, I digress. This is a Battlefield commentary and it. This topic is basically the CTE in Battlefield 4, which means the community testing environment only available to premium members only to Battlefield 4. So what it does is basically you have to download a new client, which means that you will be reset to level 0. Oh, that is a pain in the ass to play that again, just to get to the stuff that you had before to test that out. But no, you have to work with... Never mind. So the thing is that you download that and you play it. It's basically Battlefield 4 without any content extensions. So you have just the regular and standard edition basically. So you have just a couple of maps and a handful of servers. I have counted three that I could have played on so far. A hardcore team deathmatch server with, I don't know, 20 players on it. A Conquest large server with 64 men on it and some other random servers that seem to pop up one day or another and then just disappear as fast as they went online basically and I can I cannot even keep track of those things anyway so that is the CD hey there are a lot of new gadgets and gimmicks in the game now which are basically regarding the controls as it seems like you can now finally and if you wanted to do that now your dream is finally come true that you can now in fact control the infantry with the joystick while simultaneously controlling the helicopter movements with the mouse and keyboard as well as controlling the jet with a gamepad. If you ever wanted to do that and I have no idea why you would, here we go! It's in the game now. It's in the beta testing of course, so don't have too much hopes for that. Anyways, the only thing that I wanted to see in the community testing environment, CTE, is the fixed netcode issue basically and that is what I got. I'm not really saying any much more. It's, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And it's not too much of it to expect it anyway. So it's, it should fulfill your hopes for a more fluent game. Although you only can play it on the CTE. And that is everything to say about that. You are limited to only like two, maybe three if you're lucky, servers that are available with no extension packs Available and you're just stuck with a regular game reset to level zero if you start the client or when you start the client of the CTE because you have your own client for the normal game which keeps your stats of course now if you look at the main menu you will see some new sliders and everything like that and the biggest thing now is the netcode fix thingy whatever it was called again I don't really kind of remember it exactly but it won't really matter because it's not exactly a slider it's more like a just a thing that you can check and then say okay I want to have it to non-existent <laughs> I don't I have no idea what happens then maybe the game just freezes and you die of cancer or uh, just low, medium, or high. I put it to high. I have no issues whatsoever. So it feels the game feels more fluent. It feels more. It feels faster. It feels more fluent, and it's um, more more responsive. Not to say that uh, you increase in any kind of uh, gameplay uh, strategic way, but it at least feels like you're not being betrayed after every single thing. I, I've completely enjoyed. Almost everything that I did, even though I was losing, in fact, I was always being base raped, so I couldn't even test it right now in the last two days or so I was playing. Anyways, besides the base rape, you have just two servers and you cannot join anywhere else because it's the only Conquest server that's available there. And for your ping, of course, because I wanna, I don't want to play with a, like 200 ping, it's possible to, to make a clear judgment then. But with a like 30 ping or 20 ping on a high ticket, high man server, that's... All right, okay, you get base rate, but what, what do, it's what you get anyway. So my final conclusion is basically the CTE seemed to fix like the biggest issues and I'm happy to see that. I have new hopes for the game and I wait. I don't play the CTE again because I don't want to be stuck like in the, in the beginning again. I just wait for the CTE to air for everyone 
So that is basically my conclusion. I have new hopes again. And I hope that fixes a lot of problems. The only thing that I did not see being fixed is the jiggling and just the wobbling of the HUD and everything if you fly in a jet. It was still this kind of lag, not laggy, but still everything was shaking if you fly straight forward. I don't know if I'm the only one having the problem, but I can't believe that. So if you all ever had that problem, maybe they fixed it. Maybe they will fix it. Or I just was too dumb to realize it, which is probably the case, but... The netcode is fixed in that regard, 10 hertz to 30 hertz. Even though there's no confirmed stat from Dice by it on its own, like I, I, I haven't seen a single thread of Dice saying, "Okay, these are the stats." <laughs> I don't know what they are trying to hide, but whatever. Six minutes again wasted. Always try to tend to the six minute mark. We go. I thank you guys for watching. I hope it was somewhat informative, and I hope I made you some new hopes. We see us next time, people. And as always, keep it up.